Hello, welcome to my channel, welcome back. I just want to say thank you for taking the time to check out my video, to watch my video. With all the different hundreds if not thousands of channels out there on amateur radio, you could have chose somebody else. So thank you. I sincerely mean it. Today we're going to take a look at the Yezu FT60R. On the box it says 60, but on the label it says R. Just like the FT5DR, FTM200, FTM300, they all say DR. This just says R, since it's not digital. Because <laughs> it's Yezu's way to uh, keep a box in production long and just uh, keep it. And then they just update the model with a decal on the end. So let's take a look at what we're going to get. It's a VHF UHF transceiver 5 watts high power I believe 1 watt low power say that's the actual size got this new through HRO looks like we come with a manual awesome here we got our wall wart adapter up under there What is this? Drop-in charger cup. I have an aftermarket one for the older FT60R I have. A battery pack. Awesome. Hmm. This one you can see the green cells. My other one I have for my other Yezu FT60 came with black cells. So, okay, trivial. The rubber ducky antenna. I'm probably going to stick a... Uh, Diamond SRH77CA on it, so we won't use that. And down here is the radio, so let me get it out of the wraps and uh, let's take a look. So here we are, we got the battery pack. Does it say by Yezu anywhere? Yezu moves in. Our radio. Nice and shiny. Look how shiny clean she is. Brand new belt clip. And then the uh, Diamond SRH77CA antenna I'm going to put onto it. I either put these antennas, sometimes a Nagoya NA771, or the other antenna I like is a Comet SMA24. But if you got the thread that comes into the mail, it's an SMAJ. So, anyways, let me get this together and we'll be right back. Oh, there we go. Isn't she so pretty? On the diamond antenna, there's a little bit of a gap. So I went to the hardware store. got this O-ring. I just kind of slide it down over to fill that gap, the void, so dust bunnies, lint dust, everything doesn't uh, get around that base of the antenna. And that little cavity probably won't hurt anything, but oh well. Aesthetically a little more pleasing. Let's see what happens when we turn it on. That squatch is broke. Tighten up the squelch, and she's factory default the 430, 430 megahertz. Let's see if we push the memory button. Nope, nothing into it. Like I said, I do have an older FT60R I bought used off a guy off of uh, QTH.com. So I do have a radio file all set for this. Has 100 VHF repeaters, 100 UHF. Whole bunch of 220, 900 megahertz uh, ham repeaters. Public service from <laughs> Rutland County, where I reside, in Addison County, Chittenden County, Washington County, Caledonia County, uh, all the way up into northern Vermont, over to New York, New Hampshire. Uh, because it does have 1,000 memory channels, or 999 to be exact. So why not fill it up with things to listen to? And this one isn't going mobile. This one isn't going portable. This one I bought just to use at the house here as an improvised scanner. I'll do an overlay of the scanner I have, which is a good scanner, 100 channel AM, FM scanner. But I find that the little Yezu FT60R is such good audio. Okay, so I just went into VFO mode. I typed in 146.880. Hit the FW button and this, and that turns the scan or the tone on. 
hit the FW and then the code and then I dial up to 110.9 and then if we hit the FW and the shift oops I hit transmit power <laughs> Yeah, I gotta remember which one shift. Repeater, right there. FW, repeater. This is negative, which should work. There we go. AA1PR testing, new radio. Just to be legal like. Anyways, let me get my uh, programming cable out. Let me get the FT60 software set up. And we're going to load this thing up with uh, the radio file that I already have for my other one. So we'll be right back. I do have the Yezu RD Systems ADMS 1J USB. And the cable is phenomenal, man. Before I program any radio, and I'm just picking up the computer, I'm going to turn that off before we plug anything into it. I always do that. Make sure you shut the radio. If that way you don't accidentally key up or do something, you don't know what's going to happen with some of these newer radios. This radio has been around since 2004. It's uh, June, uh, what is today, uh, 19, something like that? 2023, as you, well, at least when I'm producing this video. But, you know, RT Systems was able to figure out the programming configuration. It's a little bit convoluted, but not as nowhere as bad as the uh, FT-70. So, let me get the uh, cable plugged into it, and we'll be back. So, here's my radio file for my FT-60R, the other one I have. I have everything in here from aircraft to ski resorts uh, medical Dartmouth and then a whole bunch of aircraft what is that from 1000 to huh, 767 basically 765 uh, with just aircraft frequencies Anyways, we're going to go up to here to communication. If you can see the mouse scrolling around. I'm going to hit send data to radio. It's going to tell me that I need to insert the cable to speaker jack. Yes, this is why I shut the radio off. I'm going to push and hold the monitor button and turn the radio on. And then I'm going to push this button here. The monitor button. Rotate that knob to the right. It's going to show a uh, clone or whatever it's going to say. Then I'm going to hit the FW button. It's going to say on the screen receive. And then it's going to start sending that radio file to the radio. But unfortunately I can't hold the camera and operate all the controls to do this and show you. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I held the, uh, the monitor key on, turned the thing, rotated this one turn hit the FW up comes receive and now if I hit OK on the computer it's gonna send the information to the radio and all the radio shows well unfortunately you can't see that it just says receive the whole time but when it's done it'll say clone it's about a quarter of the way through the right process Again, it just shows receive, don't key anything up, don't push any buttons, let it do its thing. Well, that's programming. My other FT60, as I said, I bought used. It's a little bit well worn. So I bought this aftermarket charging cup because the guy lost the original one for the original FT60R. So I'll probably just use this in the meantime. No need to save the other one. Two is one, one is none. Okay, so it's done programming. There's nothing on the screen. And it says clone, so I'm going to shut this off. Disconnect the cable, and we'll be right back. I thought maybe I was going 
blind or losing it. But yeah, this is a Yezu Muzin. I don't know how to tell how old the radios are. <laughs> this is my used one. You can see it's seen better days, but it's still a well-built radio. Still in fairly well shape and works quite well. Hence my getting a new one that's on the charger charging.